Hello, I am uh, Kai de Vos. I'm one of the developers of the Syllable Operating System. And uh, we're making a video here for people who were not present at our uh, Syllable conference that we held last weekend on the Frisian vessel, the Stadsliet. <coughs> our, uh, our report and the photographs are on the internet now, but we would like to make this video for you for the more interactive parts of the announcement that we made and the, uh, the presentations that I held to support those announcements. Um, we have a, a laptop here. I can uh, show you a few things on it. This is a, a rather old laptop. It's a, it's a lowly machine. It has a, a CPU, a Pentium 3, that runs at 650 megahertz. <coughs> it has only uh, 192 MBs of memory. And I'm going to show you uh, syllable 064 on it. That is uh, a pre-release that we're pl planning to finish and release for final uh, in the, the coming week, hopefully. Uh, <coughs> if the cameraman can turn the camera to the laptop, <coughs> we, we will uh, start from a cold start, so you can see how fast syllable boots on this eight-year-old laptop. I have to select from the start menu because <coughs> Ubuntu Linux is also installed on this machine. So I'm choosing syllable. And uh, when the camera is stable, wait, wait. we can go. We'll probably have to cut this part out. Here we go. These messages are nothing to fear. They look like the blue screen of death on another operating system, but these are really the startup messages from Syllable. They're entirely normal. <clears throat> Here we are in the uh, graphical login screen already. Don't try this at home, people, because I'm logging in as the root user. Normally, you should make a, a restricted user account for yourself, but this is uh, just a, a demo installation. This is almost the upcoming Syllable 064 version and uh, we have uh, a few new goodies in it that uh, I'll try to show you. We have done a, a fair amount of work on the uh, internet application suite, as it were. Uh, in the uh, office section in the application menu we have an entirely new application which is called Contact and it was made by our Danish contributor, Fleming Sørensen. I hope I pronounced that name reasonably well. It's an address book application. It's fairly advanced already. It's uh, especially oriented towards international users because we here in Europe we know that North American address books are often a bit uh, cumbersome because they don't support fields like the uh, uh, middle main parts of, of a name, for example, my name, De Vos. The, uh, the D part is not supposed to be sorted on, it's supposed to be sorted on the V, and this is very hard to do in American style address books. But this is uh, developed by uh, a European, so we hope to do that a little better. Uh, this address book makes use of the new syllable event system that has been introduced a few syllable versions ago, uh, mostly designed by Arno Klenke and Christian van der Fleet, our project leader. Uh, the, the address book makes use of the events and we have a new version of Whisper, the email client. I don't think the new version is on here yet, but I'll show you where it is in the menu in the, uh, the internet section. The new version is not on here, but the, the looks haven't changed much. <clears throat> the new uh, email client has the capability for mail filter rules now. And it is going to, to make use of the same event system to interface with the new contact address book, so it will finally be possible to store your email addresses in a proper address book and uh, use them from Whisper. And together with the new mail filter rules, Whisper will be a lot more usable. 
Also in the internet section, I am now getting to one of the major announcements for this conference. <coughs> we have a, a new web browser. Uh, the former web browser has been based on the rendering engine KHTML from the KDE desktop system from Linux for many years. And the new browser is based on a variety of this engine. It's based on WebKit. As do other syllable applications, the browser also starts in just a few seconds, even though it's uh, probably our largest application at the moment. <coughs> I, uh, once again, I will mention that this is just a 650 megahertz laptop, but uh, even big apl applications start in just a few seconds. WebKit is a fork of the KHTML rendering engine for the web by uh, Apple. The WebKit engine is more advanced than the old KHTML engine. It supports more web standards and uh, it supports more features. For example, uh, SSL is now working, so you can log into secured websites. I'll go to our official website now. The new browser is also very fast. The screenshot section, for example, which has to load a fairly large number of pictures. Let's see if I can enter another website here. One that will be well known to some people. It looks different from the old browser because we have more support for different uh, fonts now. There is uh, better support for bold fonts. Things like scrolling are also very, very fast on the new browser. It's really a very smooth experience. The browser is not finished yet. Uh, a lot of small features still have to be implemented. But it works quite well already. So we think this is a, a really, a really nice thing to announce on this Boat to Freedom conference. And this is uh, the nicest things that I can show from the new 064 syllable release that is coming up. There's uh, another <coughs> good announcement, we think, that I have to show you on another machine. So we're quickly going to change laptops now. <coughs>